Come on, man. Look, I know there have been a lot of features. You've had to make a lot of it. You can do this. I can't, man. It's too... It's too hard. You can... There's only one it's too more. Much. You can do it. Look at me. You can do it. Get out there and make a feature video for the people. Come on. Okay. So, Football Manager keeps dropping these headline feature videos, and we keep breaking them down for you to give you ratings of how good they are and tell you how actually important and relevant these changes are going to be to your everyday life. Uh, and, well, <laughs> the first episode was great. The second episode, we see a couple of conceptual sections. So we've got a section titled Real World Insight Right in Immersion. Uh, you've got a whole section where Fabrizio Romano just talks about deadline day, but we covered that in the last video. So there's actually only like two feature reveals in this round. Now that conceptual stuff is interesting, but that means this is obviously much worse than we saw uh, three, four features in the last one that were all meant. And this all brings us to staff meetings. And I said this at the beginning of the last feature, which was deadline day, and it ended up being okay, but this does not sound like something that is awe-inspiring. This isn't a new position. This isn't an overhaul to the match engine, right? This isn't the introduction of a new section. This feels like something that could actually end up being the lowest rated feature uh, of FM22 that's been announced so far. With that wonderful uh, intro, let's actually go take a look at what they're talking about with staff meetings. Hello, James Lawrence Solcott. How have you been doing? So we've covered the brand new Data Hub, Match Engine Improvements, Deadline Day, and so now's the time to introduce you to a new way of collaborating with your staff. In addition to the recruitment meeting introduced in FM21, you'll now have a weekly staff meeting with your team to cover a wide range of topics, including coaching, development, staffing, and squad planning. Okay, I guess that's literally just the entire feature right there. I mean, he just told us the feature. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking this is gonna be, right? You get those messages in your inbox. We've all gotten them like, oh, this player is developed this way. You should sign this coach to improve your coaching team. All of those different messages that you use to set in staff responsibilities is like, well, I want this to happen every week. I want this to happen every month. It sounds like you're just gonna get a weekly staff meeting where you go over all of that and honestly that could be more annoying than the system they have now but also it's a little more realistic it depends on what they do with it to talk more about how this feature takes inspiration no! from the way managers speak with their teams in the real world no! we caught up with chris wilder communication is is, is key however that's however that You know, quite frankly, I'm insulted by this because I'm also a football manager, but if you want to hear my crazy insights, I stream on Twitch. The link is down in the description. Stream four or five days a week. I hope to see you there. Uh, if you can't make that, we also have a live YouTube channel down in the description. Uh, you can watch edited episodes of the streams to keep up with my save, just hang out and have something to watch. So you officially have no excuses, even if you hate Twitch. You shouldn't though, it's a lot of fun. Now, I, look, I think this is cool. I think it's cool that Football Manager goes and gets like other people to interview them to bring them in. But what I am now afraid of is that the entire part of this feature announcement is going to be like, this is what the feature is. You know, like Walcott says it for five seconds and then we just interview Chris Wilder about like communication in real life. Like no offense to real life, but we kind of need this and a little more of a detailed breakdown about what the action, like what does it look like? What does it feel like? What are you your options when it comes to staff responsibility in these staff meetings? That's done whether, you know, it's I don't as simpli know. simplistic as a, a, a chat over coffee. Uh, with uh, with a, with a, with a member of staff, uh, group meetings with that uh, particular uh, department, or an overall team meeting with all departments. Yeah, I will tell you, I'm big fan of this weird this thing up here. Is this a pot hanging in string? tied to a door handle. I mean, that is like pottery barn home decoration taken to, to 12. Chris, I'm really proud of you. That is that is exceptional. Brought in uh, into into the picture. Oh, here so, we go. Thank you. We're going to we're going to see something so I can pause and kind of break this down. So, OK, we get a meeting agenda. It's kind of like your recruitment meeting, right? And I don't mind recruitment meetings. I feel like it's a bit more realistic. It does get formulaic after a while, but so does everything when you play the game for 2000 hours. You just want to say that you're fine, but you're not. 
So you have like suitable kick takers, player trait alterate. So this is literally this. I was right. This is going to replace all of those inbox messages and like staff updates on different things like training and staff and development and whatever that you were able to set came in at different times. We just do this every week. You can request a summary in your inbox. So it looks like if you like the old ways, you can return to them or you can just actually attend the staff meeting, which I think we're about to do now. You know, it's huge that, uh, that the communication level. Uh, you can accept the suggestion, right? And so they come to you and say, should take the penalties. He's one of our better options. You have a remind me in a week. I'm assuming that drop down arrow, you can be reminded at a different time. So there, there is a lot of individual agency in here. You can move on, you can skip this entire section if you just want to talk about development. I mean, cool. I, I have a feeling this will probably get formulaic very quickly uh, because even though they've created the backdrop of, you know, where we're in a, a meeting room, right? It still doesn't have more detailed information being provided than this guy's penalty attribute is high. I think he should be on penalties. We'll see. There are a couple of things that are valuable here that are going to make the staff meeting actually worth it. One, you can see on the left side now as we've gotten into our player trade alterations, you can actually see the attributes of the coach that's making the recommendation, right? And so you're going to be able to assess whether the information they're giving you is accurate and trustworthy. You can also ask a different staff member for that information down at the bottom, which is, of course, nice. And on the right, it will tell you, well, this trait will make the most of the player's ability, but it also will increase their workload and make training less effective. So it is making that more clear to you so i i do think we are seeing a marginal improvement here over the basic inbox messages that you are getting but we're hoping for more than marginal improvement as we click through here it is good uh and they have added some things so i can't bash this endlessly all right and this is i'm assuming a, a recap and you basically just added add luke mccormick as direct free kick taker and scouting and transfer team vacancies are added to your inbox Okay. You know, trust is a huge word in, fo in, 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 in football because um, you can't, as I said, you can't do it all on your own. So delegation, um, you know. Uh, so you, they're now showing us, Chris just keeps talking about meetings in real life, you know, but they are showing us the responsibilities here in the bottom right corner. The responsibilities panel one, we hadn't had a look at it before in FM 22. It looks the same, right? So they haven't really made any changes to that. And you just will have the opportunity to access that from within the staff meetings. The staff meeting, the weekly staff meeting is not going to let you forget about anything. Uh, as long as you attend it, you're going to be able to you know, stay on top of keeping your coaching team full and maybe adding some training to, to people and you can delegate it off to different coaches if you don't want to deal with it anymore. There is actually now a button for set all to recommended staff member, but of course that's not a part of this feature. That's just an interesting tiny little addition they made to the game. So Miles, we just heard from Chris Wilder about how important it is that he hears from his backroom staff, and that's an element of the game this year with the, the staff meetings. How important is it for, for you who, of course, having made a game for so long about football, I'm sure you've met a lot of people, to get their perspective and insights, a bit like is happening in the game itself with staff meetings. All right, so apparently in the next section, we're just talking about you know the real world insights, and that is just, uh, more conceptual stuff, which means we now know everything that we have about the staff meetings. And honestly, what this reminds me of is the recruitment meetings. It's a couple of cool things. It's a slightly better way of presenting information. And despite the fact that Football Manager 22 started really hot, a couple of great features, a great improvements to the game in the first headline feature announcement, the second one's definitely left lacking. Uh, we had a couple of conceptual discussions and maybe that's just something they wanted to get in. Uh, I'm assuming there's another headline feature set coming uh, at some point, but honestly, I don't know. But this is probably the least impactful uh, feature that exists so far. I think the transfer deadline day is definitely gonna be a much newer feel. This is going to feel very familiar uh, and you almost have to go looking for those extra few things. It's gonna make the game a little easier for people that are just starting to play, which is obviously something that I like because I have my whole beginner tutorial series to try and on-ramp people into the game. And so it's lovely to see that here. But that's it. I, I don't see how I can give the, I, I think this is just a, a bang average minor improvement. And despite the fact, you know, that we had a couple of A's on our report card for FM22, 
I ended up giving a B minus to the deadline day. I think I'm going to go with a hard C on this, this staff meeting. The only reason we're not going in, in, into a lower level is I think this really, this is part of their on-ramping to make the game more accessible, right? It, it is a much easier to understand thing than the inbox messages that you're getting that are a little more confusing. It kind of spells out what's happening. So we're going to go ahead and give this feature a C. Nice thing to have in the game, makes the game better for it, but just not a headline feature. Uh, in my opinion, it's more of an excuse to just talk about how, you know, what we're referencing, what's going on in the real world instead of actually uh, significantly improving uh, the gameplay. It, it, it is going to be a different feel. And I think I saw someone mention that they actually had staff meetings a few years ago. And they didn't look quite like this, but they've decided to bring it back. And I look, it's a good call. And if you like the inbox messages, you've been playing that way for a couple of years. You can get them back from what we've seen.